Hey guys, welcome back to another flying mahi fishing video. But this time we're not going to be fishing. We're going to be snorkeling just off the uh, north end of Howard Park. Um, this is my first underwater filming video, so if it's not perfect, that, that would be why. So let's get to it. So we we got to the spot, and now we're snorkeling our way into the spring, and you can see. In the middle of the screen, a little bit of bait fish, nothing much though. Um, we're making our little trip to the spring right now. It's just the way it's at in front of us. You can see there's a sheep's head right there. So that was a nice, a nice find right there. So this is the first glimpse of the spring we we found. You can see there's a rock right there on the top of the screen, and then to the top left of the screen, you can see the uh, cave. So I'm diving down here to get a little bit closer to the uh, the fish. So we're just over top of the screen right now, and I'm about to go dive down. And here I go. I get down, go down to the bottom. I'm just gonna go swim around a little bit. You can see there's a lot of fish in front of me. Look at all the fish. You just see them all around me. I'm going to come back up to the surface so we get a bigger breath so I can go down for a little bit longer. So I'm at the surface right now gathering my breath. You can see all the fish down there right now. I'm about to go down. Here I go. Down to the bottom. And look at them. These are a lot of mangrove snapper, porgy, a few other fish. That was a, that was a bad attempt to uh, get down to the bottom there. So I moved a little bit to the outer edges of the spring, and I found this little, little tiny fish, and I was just following around from over top, and uh, you can see him right there. A little tiny pinfish, baitfish, something. So the hand signals I'm giving you is I'm, I pointed to myself, and I've said I'm going to swim and then follow the like contour of this, and I'm going to be following my dad down. So here we go, my dad goes down, and I'm following him, and I'm going to go down right after him, here I go, just a little face cam as I go down, and as we get closer to this edge, look at that edge, it just drops off, it goes like the 50, 60 feet, but you can see all the, all the fish there, I come up pretty quick, I didn't stay down too long, I was having a little trouble equalizing there. So right here, I was just diving down on the edge of the, uh, the edge of the spring and I was just following some fish around and you see a lot of snapper there a lot of the fish you see in this clip right here are mangrove snapper pretty decent size though I look over the spring and you can see those are all fish hundreds of them hundreds of fish over the over the spring there it's insane this really gives you the factor of how many fish there are like look at all these fish there is tons of them you're just all up on the surface, like, not the surface, but I mean, they're just all there chilling. Look, at there's a sheep's head coming out, all these mangrove snapper just chilling out. The most fish I've ever seen in my life, just chilling. It's amazing. Huh? That's all deep for you. I can go deeper than that. There's a sheep's head. I went down and filmed it. Right here, my dad's going down, and I'm just gonna film him go down a little bit. Let's see if he drop down here a little ways. Film him, and then come up when he comes up. Pretty simple snorkel. So right here, I'm gonna go down again, just a little bit off the edge of the spring. And you can see just all these mangrove snapper, just all swimming around there. Really cool to see. So what I'm about to do here is I'm about to go dive down the ledge. You can see all the snapper and all the like different kinds of fish in front of me. So I'm just catching my breath here, getting ready to dive the ledge here in a bit. And here I go down, swimming along the bottom. Got to pop up real quick to equalize. Then go down a little bit farther. And look at that ledge; it just drops right off, just completely right, like just zero, zero viz. 
So right here I handed the GoPro off to my dad and he's gonna go dive down to the edge because he can dive a little bit deeper than I can. So here he goes. Bring down to the bottom. You can see all the fish just scatter as it comes down. And look at that ledge. It's pitch black, you can't see anything below it. Look at that. It's just crazy. Now there's something really cool that's about to happen. There's going to be a stingray that's going to show up on the top right hand corner of your screen. I will zoom in on it for you, but this is a pretty big stingray. This is also what you have to watch out where you're stepping in Florida. You can see it now. Boom, takes off. You can see how big it was. It was actually facing me and turned around. So I put the video in here slow-mo so you can see it. So you can see it just chilling right there. And you'll see it turn. Boom, turns and takes off. And look at it. Just vanishes. Makes a lot of mess in the water. Silting it up and kind of covers its tracks as well. In this clip right here, I find a little tiny puffer fish just swimming around doing its own thing. Pretty cool. In this clip right here, we came up on a little divot and like in the bottom, and there was a little, little tiny group of mangrove snapper, a little school of them. But then what was really cool is I found this little blob or something. I don't know if it's coral or sponge, and. I mean, by the time this video is published, I'll probably know about it, but I don't know what that is. If you guys know what it is, please comment in the, in the comment section, but I have no clue what that is. But it looks looks pretty cool. I mean, <laughs> looks a little weird, but it was definitely alive, or I'd say it is. And then coming up here is another piece of coral you can see on that rock. right off the top of your screen here there's a little piece of coral right there as well so that's nice a little that's nice little spot of life So this clip, I don't really know what this is. I thought it was an anchor at first, but now looking at it a little bit more, it doesn't really look like one. Um, I asked my dad, he still doesn't know what it is, so just a weird find, so pretty cool. That's going to end it for today's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, it helps me out a lot. And if you're interested in seeing more types of content, either fishing, snorkeling, scuba diving, please subscribe. It does really help me out a lot. So peace out, guys. See you next time.